What time tomorrow? Five o'clock downstairs. Where downstairs? In the funny yellow room where they dance. From the early 30s on, Joan Crawford was one of Hollywood's brightest stars. Whether playing a factory worker or a dance hall girl in love with Clark Gable, Joan's popularity with audiences was something her studio, MGM, could bank on. What made her a star was I worked my buns off to get here and I'm not going to lose it. Audience tastes might change, but Joan's roles changed with them. Or above all else, she was a survivor. However, with Joan's death and the publication of the book Mommy Dearest, written by her daughter Christina, Joan's reputation suffered a downward slide. And yet her life and career remain one of the most remarkable in the history of Hollywood. Joan's whole life was work hard and be better, be your best, be your best, whatever that was. Her dream was to become a star, a dream that was realized. And for many, that's how she'll always be remembered. been written about Marilyn Monroe's childhood in this town. Joan Crawford's childhood would make Marilyn seem like Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. She was born Lucille Lesseur in Texas. Her father deserted the family when she was very young. So uh, the mother was charged with raising this girl and her brother. And she was not very responsible. I worked my way through St. Agnes Academy waiting on tables, and then I worked my way through um, Rockingham Academy from nine years of age to 13, waiting on tables. I never went beyond the sixth grade. That's one of my hang-ups. 